Super Dark 14, bringing you some Europa Universalis. Um, so today, we are going to bring up Yield. Um, that thing, Poland, Poland Arc, campaign in Poland. Hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks for joining us just since we started. But just just for starting. So we're starting with Europa Universalis. Starting our Poland game back. So uh, last episode we did a whole bunch of ex expansion in all four directions. Three directions actually, but Um, we pieced out with um, Milan because they were fighting Naples and were the defender of the faith. Oh, I must change my stream info first. But Now we're streaming live. We've got everything all booted up. So we're just, we just pieced out with the uh, Milan and Aragon. They called me in as a, as a defender of the faith thing. Do we still have it even though we lost? We don't. That's a shame. Anyways, we're in, we have uh, eight loans. make that 10 loans. I want my defender title back. Um, so we have Ikea. We're gonna fabricate a claim on Ikea. So as soon as the truce is up, we're just gonna declare war. And then, um, we'll fight claim on Genoa as well, so we can get Scio. right here we'd love to claim CO skio um, yeah so our manpower is a bit low because we just rebuilt a whole bunch of stuff and we have quite a few armies we just rebuilt a whole bunch of stuff again so we're going to do some maneuvering We're gonna keep our armies right up here. Our little smaller armies. Um Yeah. So everything's building up right now. We're currently in the red. That's okay, we'll just turn off army maintenance. Also, we're going to switch from not nah. I was gonna think. I was thinking about um, switching to um, Diplo Focus, but Diplo Tech, it's all right. But I think I'll pass on it. So we have roughly eight thousand in debt. Truce with Muscovy is ended. It looks like Muscovy in integrated all of this Georgian land, which should be nice because we can just take it. Um, once we finish off Caravan. Seventeen twenty. So it looks like Mamluks is roughly our size in military strength. We're gonna move you to Crimea so we can just take out Crimea when we declare on Caravan. We'll bring our fleet down to, um, oh, we already have a fleet down there, but we'll bring a fleet down to, um, Solga, so we can take out Sia real quick, with Genoa, um, can we play alone, that's nice, um, bring up our estates, get money, 
invest in ideas. Hmm. I think I'll save it for tech. Oh. And we get the manufactories, which is nice. We have, um... That's quite nice, actually. Deo gratias. Heavenly Father, thank you for this gift. So we'll get all our admin points, etc., etc. Get our money. See if we can pay back another loan. We don't need to spend our money on support loyalists for Bohemia, right? Disable support loyalists. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. So, we're gonna bring it back to... Bring our army back up here. Mamluks and Muscovy have a very similar color. I just noticed. But as soon as our manpower is back up... You know what? We don't really need to worry about our manpower. We have plenty. We can upgrade our troops, which is quite excellent. We can have our money. We can get some more prestige, but we don't really need prestige. We'll spend it on the next Pope Raffle. We don't need prestige because, you know, we're kind of flexing. Oh, they're allied with Naples. It looks like I'm getting a base in Northern Italy then, or Southern Italy. You know, religious ideas, you know, people say that humanist is the way to go, but I like religious because, you know, you can convert provinces in eight whole months. So, you know, instead of fabricating on Genoa, we're just going to um, straight up invade it. And, you know, the trick with uh, military, this thing, the recruit recruiting standards, you can just gain a whole bunch of manpower. So, you see, we have 18 professionalism, and for five extra for er, for five professionalism we can get we can get 40,000 manpower so we can we have an extra 100 or extra 160,000 manpower which is quite nice so I'm gonna get another general we can't do that right yeah we can't get another general but that's all right we'll give states actually before we do that we want to decrease autonomy in places. Kaffa. Where's Kaffa? Kaffa. 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 Okay. I'll just have you stand in Kaffa. So. Oh, that's really weird. So, Naples just, um, or Milan just invaded Naples, and um, they just invaded Naples, and then they guarantee Naples, <laughs> which is like big brain move, but we'll just declare on Caraman, make Genoa a... Put up our things, make Genoa a co-belligerent, and we'll be ready to roll in just a short few months. We also probably should bring our navies down. Navy. So Wester. So we're in the green right now, which is kind of weird. But that's alright. No sense complaining. We have provincial unrest somewhere. So 
England is currently at war with Burgundy. And they're losing. Which is whack. So, looks like we're ready to hit that whoa. Colin Genoa. Mamluks. I don't really want to fight your allies. Who are you? Okay. It looks like Crimea is... I don't really need to do. The, um, I don't need to call in Crimea as a co-belligerent co because then it'll bring in Muscovy and that'll be a whole bigger mess. But we'll take take them out. So we'll have you go to Caraman. You go to Sinope. You go to you go to Sinope. No, you go to Sinop, and then you go to Trabizond. That's a nice general. And then you can go to Bozok. No. Yes. And then we'll let it tick. I guess we'll not let it tick. Surf's properly exploited. Yes, give me that money. Oh, and we'll also bring in you go to Azov. You can fight their armies. Hopefully the Sarohani Navy isn't too shabby. But we're just waiting on Sio. And it looks like Naples didn't join. Because they want to be my friend. So it looks like we won't be able to take Naples, or er, that one place. We won't be able to take that place after all. Um, CO. Because of this navy. Our navy is currently floating around here. We'll have them stay in Corfu. Kuban is ours. Circassia shall be ours. So I want to see what I can get from Crimea. One, two, three, four, five. We can't take all of their non mainland provinces. What? I guess Naples did join. Whack. Looks like we're getting a vassal. Alright. Break royal ties. No. For some reason, our royal marriage to France has lasted for an eternity. Beaten caraman. We'll take out. We need a leader. So as soon as our navy arrives in Epirus. We have beaten Azov, or taken Azov. That's kind of a weird name, but uh, if anyone's joining today, I hope everyone's having a great day. A blessed day. Our army is going to be moving to intercept the Karamani army. Stack wiped their army in Sivas. beaten scene up or taken scene up and then so we'll probably just go to um down here oof it looks like we lost the siege of ticks so it looks like they mostly have light ships and galleys not to worry not to fret once we have a free army we can just um do we have any armies up here? Ah. Yeah, I think Sweden will be fine for a little bit. We'll go to Napoli, taking a trip to Naples over the summer. 
don't mind us. It's just 20,000 Neapolitans going to Naples for our summer. Crimea, will you? I wonder if Crimea will give us all of their land. No, they won't. That's all right. Get this guy here. This guy here. This guy here. Go here. No, we can't go here. Beating traps on. We can go here. You don't need to go here anymore. Um, you can come here to fight whatever is roaming around in our land. You can siege Halab. Cossack aggression. Oof. So it looks like Austria is at war with the English. I think we'll have all of these provinces for Amara Nostrum. You know what the fun part about playing EU4 is that sometimes you can get greedy. And it's fun to be greedy sometimes. It's pretty darn Dope, as the kids say. Move you back to Crimea's last place. Let's see if we can bring you guys down here. Okay, whatever. Sure. S-U-R-E, as the kids say. The Genoese fleet is kind of big. Not gonna lie. Saruhani pretender rebels. Oof. That's an oof, Mr. Saruhan. Saruman and Saruhan. As soon as we can get a 100% war score on... Mr. Crimea. They'll just start taking up the exhaustion. We can bring you guys down to... Oops. I wasn't trying to do that. There we go. We can go to... Daishk, or whatever. Daishk. So we're gonna take um, from Alexandria. We've taken Halab. So we're gonna go for Alexandria. And maybe if we're feeling extra generous. Looks like we got him. I wish we could get them to give us money. More money, but... Shell. We lost the spy master. So we'll replace him with a not spy master. And then... Whoa. Core these guys. And then we'll convert them. So Crimea has been moved to not here, guaranteed by Muscovy. So I want to go for, um, I want to go for, um, this place, Alexandria, get the northern coast of here, like, uh, Iskandria, Rashid, uh, Dumayat, and Sharika. And also East and Gaza, so we have a contiguous kind of thing. 
And then I also want to see if we can get a... I want to get Gaza. Sure you could. Okay, that's probably the, all we're going to get from them. Oh, look at that. We're probably going to hemorrhage some men, but that's alright. So we can go here. Conquer a whole bunch of things. We can fight Karaman. As soon as we can take Damask, Damascus, Damascus shall be ours. Can look through our. Oh, that's pretty good. Melita Hall. And once we can whittle down the um. There. Oh my lord, that's quite a big thing. Quite a big, um, big walk. So, how is our Austrian or our Neapolitan army? So, we're gonna take out. Once we thin out their armies a little bit, we'll be in a good spot. And so instead of taking 90 some war score sc from them, we'll just go for Gaza and maybe this one for our vassals. Get these two. See, that's 46. That's 46, and we can do that real easy. Because I just want to get a quick war gun, war going. Just to quickly. And then we didn't need to march all this way. Or we did, but... It's a little late now. Tabuk! See, we'll take Gaza. And then two provinces from the north. And then as soon as our truce is done, well, that's in 1664, well that'll take a long time. We might need to send these guys to come this way. To fight the um, to fight that big stack, unless the Novgorodians will do it for us. Bro, fort level five. That's gotta be yoked. That's pretty darn naughty. Siege of Damascus, so never mind. We can get Kyra. Can we? Will you take that? No, that's ever so slightly out of reach for us. Maybe they'll capitulate now? No, oh, they won't. Oof. None of these guys will have to retreat. Yeah. Get out of there. I was not looking forward to a stack wipe. And 
those troops are kind of strong. Why don't we combine these guys so it's a little easier? soon as we get that from them. We also want war reps and quite a bit of money. Stay there. The reinforcements. Oh, they stack wiped him. Oof. That's an oof. Okay, it looks like we won't be getting those four reps after all. Retreat. Retreat. You give us war reps? No. Of course they won't. It's the AI. They never know when to quit a war. Come on. Unfortunately, I think these guys might have a slightly stronger. Oh, it's might be because they're defensive. They get the reform of the army. Oh, Austria's getting yoked. Naples is getting yoked. Why don't we send an army up there to ease the siege? And then ultimately, we can invade Sio. That was the purpose of this war. If we can hurry up and get these... Gaza, though. Oh, we lost the siege to Naples somehow. Ah, I want Gaza. They don't have Cairo anymore. We don't have Cairo anymore, so we'll just go and do this. That's a shame. Boom. Boom, like that. Punch a hole. Maybe we'll be able to get it back from um, this tick. That's a rather large army they have there. Makes me just a tad nervous. Oh, they're going down to Saudi Arabia. We'll be good. Even though it's not Saudi Arabia. It's just Arabia. Finally. Okay, will you finally give us what we want? 51. Mamluks have announced us as our rival. And then Antioch will be ours. 
but we'll give Adana to um, the not the other guy. We'll give Adana to Saruhan. Oh, and we can get Volkadir and and the Rezan. Yeah, we can take Volkadir right now. Give that to um. Give that to this guy. To um, Sarwahan. Oh, we have a truce with them for whatever reason. We have lost the siege of Krakow. What? So the last thing to do. See if we can get these guys in here. That's quite a lot of galleys. They're already engaged, so we shall end it. What? Why is, is Napoli so dang expensive? <sighs> Looks like we won't have a vassal at all. After all. Well, it looks like we'll take Napoli and Salerno. So we can move a little west, west a bit more. Boom, finally. take a complete coll collapse of their country which is what's happening right now I mean, no don't don't do that yeah. we should probably deal with those Crimean separatists so Come on, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Absolutely whack. We want Naples, though. To that whole 72 wash for. So many. We all we lost like seven. We had a seventy percent casualty rate. Oof. Oh, that's a five siege. Oh, oh, oh. We beat Napoli. Naples, Napoli. Seventy-two. Can we get ninety-nine? Do I hear a ninety-eight? Do I hear an eighty-eight? Oh, 
always a little high. Maybe it's from Naples. Oh crud, I wasn't trying to do that. But now we should be able to take CO. Right? Or not. Oh, Naples became her- Oh, that's gross. Absolutely heretical. Naples became reformed. Can we take? Oh, we can't take it. But... Extension is not super problematic. So that's one thirteen. That's just a whole bunch of trade ships, or not trade ships. I wonder if we can get some galleys going. So, in case you're just stopping in, or just took out. Naples, or took out part of Naples. Converting the... People. Come on, we want... We want it. We want it. get um this place still could here get it holy war it was hold it's ours now we won't get that cold of war thing probably gonna go into some more debt though Also have our subjects fight um, that guy. Oh my goodness! Look at that China. Oh. Nope, we're not growing that. Looks like we'll just siege that down real quick. Kudak. Where's Kudak? Kudak, yeah, we'll send the missionary there. One of our six missionaries. We have quite a few missionaries. As soon as we can hurry up and repair these ships, we'll be good to go. So that we can finally take out the people. Got 15, got a lot. Six more months on those ships.
15 whole months. <laughs> Still quite a bit of time. Fully take out. Oh, let's see. 70 whole ducats. Yay. We've lost the Siege of Smolensk. <laughs> I just want, I want Naples, All right? I want seal. Looks like Sylvester Grabowski is not the best navy people, navy person. Okay, well, we'll give up on that. We can take some more provinces from... From that guy, Karaman. Subject, give here, you can have all my provinces. Not all of them, I sell. I wish there was a way you could just hit a button on the, the province instead of having to go through the whole thing in there. Uh, we'll give him Caraman. Amesa. Tukat. Svas. Bozok. Bozok. Divrigi. They're at 81 over extension. Kayasuri. 90. Adana. Adana. This would cause them to be 100% overextended. Okay, so we'll just have to let them core that. I guess we'll core this. No. What really have you do with the autonomous rebel suppression? Right here. Oh, we're the conquerors. Got the conquerors. Yeet them. I want my absolutism. I want some more absolutism. Please, sir, can I have some more? Neva. Where's Neva? Neva. Neva. Please, sir, I would like some more. Justified. Ah, darn. If only that event had triggered moments before. Ah, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Is... Oh, when we take Ikea, we will... Ikea. When we take Ikea, 
then we can get, um, we can also get Genoa, Muscovite Separatists. Oh, that's a lot of Separatists. We'll have to suck it up and deal with the fort. The 40 forts that we have. We have way too many forts. Kind of, maybe. Also, we don't need 40,000 men down here, we only need 20. Thankfully, my subjects will come to help me. I don't know where you're going, Dulcadir, you separatist. Truce with Milan has now expired. Truce with Ravensburg has now expired. Declare war? What? The truce with Aragon is now ended. We can flex on him. And go for, um... Oh, no. Nope, never mind. It looks like the Pope has gotten rather strong. We don't have enough missionaries, I don't think... You'd never think I'd ever say that, but... Carl the second. I'm missing blessed Carl. Hmm. Why are they sieging my capital? Seventy-one. We could go ahead and annex Ikea. As soon as we feel like it. I mean, we could trees break, but I don't really want to, so. Also, I'm gonna loan up and uh, get that institution. Oh, we need a lot. Global trade is now ours, but we shall also embrace manufactories. It just prints money. So now that was 18 loans with a total of 15,000 in debt. Nice. Like that. Now we have to deal with these Muscovite separatists. with them. Yeet with the greatest. We could truce break and just straight up break them, but... As soon as we get all of these provinces converted, we'll probably be in the green. Probably. Gaza and Antioch. Threat 94 Religious Unity, the Defender of the Faith.
Armani Separatist. Okay, that's quite a bit. Bohemia will have to deal with our Separatist issues for a while. We'll probably let the Karamani Separatist get dealt with first. Taking Skav back. Now we'll take care of those rebels. You're probably gonna hear that a lot. Oh. Take care of those guys. It's quite a bit of interest we have. is not in Crimea anymore. <laughs> Crimea machine broke. Understandable. Have a great day. We should put a fort on Greek. That'd be really annoying. They're Crete. Crete, not Greek. So we're good for the rest. Almost the rest of the game. Once we get the enlightenment. But once we have all of our stuff converted to American, no, Catholic. Once we convert everything, then we'll be great. Good to go. And I wish you could strengthen government without dealing with uh, absolutism. Oh, we could do this. We could do that. That gives us a lot of into Yaquin. Harsh fragments. Napoli is ours! cook. Barry's ours. Barry. Barry, very, very, very happy. We have a cardinal in Stockholm, which is pretty cool. Oh, looks like we're in another loan. More debt. Lovely. What else do we have a fourth that we don't need? Here, 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 here. Why don't we just, uh, mothball all for it? Yes, now more absolutism here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want the skill 3. I don't know if we can afford the skill 3 at least. I wonder if we can go for a... No, we can't go for an election. We could declare on Twitter. 
Now, could you transfer trade power to us? Right. Decrease army maintenance, right? Yes, that'll do it. That'll do the trick. That will do it. I don't know where we can expand next. Perm. Now oh, Tver and Perm are both allied with Muscovy, and I don't really want to deal with Muscovy right now. Or in these dire economic straits. We cannot. We cannot break the seal of confession. Absolutely unacceptable. Please stability though. Someplace? Oh yes, we probably should core that place. So we're not at minimal efficiency. Oh, we get another merchant. here. So now we're- oh, that gives us quite a bit of dosh. Probably combined with the fact that we're not converting a whole bunch of provinces at a time. Another loan, woo! You know, if we had a whole bunch of colonies in the known world, we would not have any debt. Ah, oh, finally! The royal and marriage has finished. I wonder if we can play the PU game. Oh, Castile? I wonder what the Castilian New World is like. Castile. It's not very good. Um, France, you know, Mexico is probably the strongest region to colonize because it's just got so much gold like look at that gold gold that produces corn but gold quite a bit what is this frieslander i wonder if we can buy a colony up oh, there at war actually never mind that guy and then that'll be it for our conversions for the time being of course oh yuck English parliamentarianism you all over Cromwell oh this looks like Norman England Is no or Norman Eng England Normandy English Normandy is not doing too hot. I'm gonna turn up the speed because we're just kind of sitting back, repaying our loans. You know, this is how you miss stuff that's important, but so be it.
Mm, I should probably go for. Oh, we lost an advisor. Interesting. We got an age ability. Yearly absolutism. Yes, we like that. We should probably go for um, um the one in the middle. That thing. I don't know which. The Diplo. We're going for Diplo Focus now because we're four techs behind or so. So we've attacked. We can attack Pomerania. Production efficiency is increased by two. We can build a furnace. So we can build a coal furnace. Right? Goods produced, goods produced, good produced. Gotta be. Oh no, we can't build a furnace yet. We're reinvesting before we. Um, once we get a whole bunch of these things going, we'll have a lot more money to build stuff with, buy stuff, repair loans. Rebels, Sunni, Zealots, harsh treatment. I wonder if we can, um... Decrease autonomy. We can't. Turkish Separatist. We have like the worst things for the trading bonus. To have the trading bonus. Actually, we have the trading bonus for uh, copper. Which is quite nice. This debt is flying off. Malaita and Chen. Of 
I don't know what they should probably fix that how it looks like. No land apple access to the capital. Pope Zeistus the fourth. I don't even know if there's ever been a Pope Zeistus. It's in the HRE, what? Oh. Okay, that was a little whack. In Baden. Reinvest what you make. Remember that. Oof, when you get doomsday. Doomsday. One king to rule, yes, we've gotten it. Killed you. Give them the West King the uh, develop an edict. So close yet so far. Free off for that juicy, juicy mission. Or some of that juicy mission. I wonder if there's a uh, thing for uh, completing the mission achievement. Oh, we can fight Pomerania. And they're at war with them. Denmark is allied. Lovely. Actually, why don't we move you guys back up here? Move this navy up here. And declare war on Denmark. No. I don't know why Cherokee has not been annexed yet, but it hasn't. Uh, poor Florida and Castilian Louisiana. Cocomes. French Mexico, homie. Otomi. I wonder if we could take care of you guys. Zapotec. Florida's lost. But if we had... If 
which we could declare well. Nope, never mind. I kind of want to invade Na er, Aragon, but I also kind of don't, because I don't have the navy for it. Let's go Denmark time. Actually, we're almost at the um, truce ending with for um, for Akia, so we're gonna go for Akia first. And then we're gonna we're gonna raise up all our forts, so we don't have to wait for them. We've untruced with the Mamluks. See, so we'll survive this. We should bring our this guy back down here. Bring him down here. Let's see the Naples. They have around 20. They have 20 active combat ships. Plus probably some from ideas, so. We'll just have some. We'll build some galleys. Actually, remember, these guys can't get into the fight because they are in the same thing here. So, we'll have to deal with that. Fabricate claim. Wait, no, not support rebels. That would be bad. It's a key in time. How's our air? I wonder how our air is. Not very good. Kind of want to disinherit. Yep. I was gonna try to go for a um, not disinherit, but changed my mind. Oh, it looks like we can go to Skio. Excellent. Oh, it looks like the Sarohani people have already gotten there. So it looks like we've won this war. And we can demand everything. Give it to me. Take what is rightfully ours. I wonder when our truce with Circassia will end. Oh, it's almost over! Ha! Ah. Oh, you are guaranteed. You have a quite a large allies, my friend. Quite a large list of allies. Shuban. Kia is ours. Kia is ours. Can we court? Yes, we can. We shall court. And we shall call this.
collected. Oh, the knights? Can we fight you? Poor, poor August. going to take care of, of Danish Scotland. Right? Yeah, let's take a look at their navies. Denmark's. If I can click on the right button. You have had a total of 69 lost. <laughs> Denmark has lost 79. Army losses total. We have lost... Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, we have lost to a total of 7... 1,000... 1,709,000,000 men. <sighs> that's not good. Mostly by attrition. Or half by attrition, half by battle. So we're going to move our troops to Denmark because it looks like they're already dying to stop. They're dying to stop. We'll move this guy up here, this guy, we'll keep that guy there. We have so many armies, we keep losing them. Just like. Not like they've gone anywhere, it's just... Gone. Cannot see. Oh no, we've lost. Oh, more money. Ah, oh, fun. Who's its face? We need another general. He kind of sucks. No, you may not. You may not have that. <sighs> I want to complete the Swedish deluge. And I also want to complete the mission tree. Wait, we forgot to do this thing to save us mana. Yes, we have got the mana. Oh, that's not Lublin. That's Lublin. Ah. Okay, my bad. Mea culpa. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Decline. Decline. Actually, we can- Oh! I know what we're doing. We're claiming the throne, boys. Ah, oh, crud. They don't have an- Darn it. When I go for the disinherit- 
when I go for the um the what do you call it? The th this thing. Claiming throne. We could claim the throne of Austria. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Ooh, I think we might. We might claim the throne of Austria. Just waiting for them to... Lose some... Wish there was a button I could push to get some more... People. Money. Dinero. Or maybe we could just fight Caraman again. Sistan. Oh, that's a big sis that's a big country. Almost Persia, but not quite. Permanent navies. Ah, oh, we benefit from that, mostly because we have naval supplies. Sylvester Grabowski. More military for me. Mm. We're just gonna keep our eyes on this screen so we can get some MPO oh boy. I'm thinking of burning that. I'm also thinking of just declaring war in Denmark. Yeah, let's just go for Denmark. If we PU the Emperor, does that mean... Actually, when was the last autosave? Okay, let me think of it. Let me think. November... Okay, when the Cossacks raid the Papal State. <laughs> Provence is the elector. If we become the... If we become the um, HRE king, does that mean we can... All transports, oof. Oof. They're ours. They're ours. We got them, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is Pomerania the vassal? Oh, it's a personal union. 
That's mostly light chips. That's mostly light chips. Okay. Where else can we move our armies? Must be. We can get. Maybe their claim will be not quite as strong. Or as soon as Mr. Carl is not active. We're at 20. There. Okay, we're at the same. Same military tech level. Oh, hey Gibbon, how's it going? Um, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Kind of zoned out there. Russia, oh, Russia formed. No, that's Novgorod. Um, you missed it. We took out, uh, we took out Moscow, a whole bunch of Moscow's, uh, stuff. Got our cores back. Unfortunately, it's not quite the right color. It would be nice. I think I'm gonna go for a personal union on Austria soon. Soon. Soonish. Sooner rather than later. So we're trying to fight Denmark for Bornholm again. It looks like we may or may not be stack wiped. Right here. Just laying in bed, watched a movie. Alone, of course, is quarantine. Yeah. Should probably turn down the siege. Speed. We can retreat there, and then we can also bring back the, um... Bring back the Danish. Uh, what movie did you watch? probably give this guy the guy that's gonna arrive first the leader so that we don't take a whole bunch of losses underground six never heard of it oh that's not what we were trying to do underground six what's it about that's unfortunate but we still have gotten quite a bit of money from everything. Danish have a lot of ships. Light ship, light ship, heavy ship, transport. Heavy ship, oh, that's quite a bit of heavy ships. Beaten Kohlberg, okay. So we just want a big navy. Ryan, Revel Ryan Reynolds and Michael Bay, American version of La Casa de Papel, aka Money Heist. Never heard of either of those movies, but sounds interesting. I'm assuming it has to do something with uh, drug smuggling or something. Now that's a quite popular topic nowadays. Now if the dogs are now barking and I apologize because someone just came to the door. Oh, also, I took a look at the, um, our stats, our battle stats, and it looks like we've lost uh, almost a million men, or more than a million men. We've gotten uh, 1.7 in casualties total, and around 800,000 of them have just been um, attrition. 
which is kind of bad. Kind of bad. Oh, they built a fort there? That's weird. Cool. Queen Luquica Maria Gonzaga and King John Casimir of Poland sponsored the newspaper I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, published weekly devoted to contemporary politics, European dynastic affairs, and monarchs' military campaigns. Promoted political reforms and strengthening of monarchical power. Edited by Hieronym Kenochi and published by J.A. Gorchin. La Casa is a Spanish series, real bang in quarantine, Netflix series. Um, where they do a big heist. It's on mega plan, different characters and such. Don't want to spoil it. It's really good. But you do recommend La Casa. Uh, do you speak Spanish? Because I do, and I think that would be a pretty interesting... Interesting thing. I mean, subtitles, of course, are fine. But, you know, the ultimate experience is if you speak Spanish. So we're just waiting on our vassals to... Destroy the Danish... Danish uh, mini stacks. So we have a quite a large fleet, but they have a very large fleet. Oh boy, our transports aren't up there either. That's not quite good. That simply won't do. La Casa de Papel is Spanish for House of Paper, if you didn't know that. This was an action that I began to regret immediately. Yes, it looks like we won't be taking Gotland at all. Actually, I wonder if we can take... Transfer subjects. Watched it with English subtitles and you are Ser Serbian, roundabout. One of the thieves, Serbian... <laughs> And he speaks bad Spanish and Serbian in the series. I don't know why they translate it to Money Heist. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they do that. Um, so I'm just kind of chilling, you know, taking provinces. I would like to see if I can get a tr subject, but I can't because I can't make it a core. Denmark owns Norwegian Louisiana. This war was kind of pointless, but that's all right. Pointless war is what we do for fun. We needed that prestige, I guess. We're trying to PU Austria. They must have no legal heir. If only their heir, their heir had a worse, uh, worse prestige. So, um, things have changed from the different era since you last were in here, Gibbon. Uh, we got some, uh, took out most of Caraman. I'm just waiting for, um, a truce to end with them so that we can invade them. We're working on the uh, missions. Um, do you know if there's a, um, a an achievement for doing all the missions in a tree? Because I'm kind of going for that. Let me go for the wall. Oof, poor Muslim, you know, making them look like fools. Well, we still have a long way to go before we can say we've conquered the Middle East. Looks like the Pope isn't doing too good. Um. Ooh. 
I know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go fight in Naples. Take out Urbino. Get us get some uh, Italian lands. You're not sure. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Eh, I don't think so. Seems it's uh seems like one of those things that you'd think there's an achievement for, but probably not. So we're gonna invade Naples now. Just walk right over him. Steamroll him. Oop, that's gonna be a stack wipe right there. Oof, yep, that's it. That's the end of their war. Jerusalem and Prussia getting new trees, pretty big TBH. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Emperor expansion because um, my favorite place to play is Europe. You know, of course. But I really want to see what they do with the, the Catholic. Like, I think they're making some sort of change. Um, I hope it's a big one. And Jerusalem sounds cool, like the new thing. Etc. Etc. Can we in take you all out? Two, three, four. Looks like we can. Coalition? Nah. We'll be fine without with a coalition. Our next action. Oh, Aragon's fighting Milan. next course of action is fighting Milan and maybe even uh, the other place um, Aragon that's what we're doing yeah once Aragon's done with whoa, battle oh what did our transports our transports got cut out whack Peasant revolt in Cyprus. Ah, oh, lovely. Of course, that's when my transport get killed. Thankfully, there's a fort there, so we can hold on for a while. While we're at war. Time to go to Urbino. Wait, who's moving there? Oh, there's a battle there. Just not our battle. Urbino is ours. Can we take... Would that give me a humongous aggressive expansion thing? Yes, it would. But it's not for countries I really have any... care about. As soon as we can yeet, we'll yeet as far as we can. Ooh, lots of events. I think we might invade Ragusa while we're at it, so we can take out some of the Papal State's land. So Aragon is allied with Scotland, France, and the Papal State, which isn't good. Hopefully it doesn't shoot up my overextension. 
Probably will, because, you know, Italy. Oh, it looks like, um, England broke their alliance with Austria, so we can take advantage of that once we want to PU them. Once we can PU them. Oh no. Took you long enough, Urbino. Claim. Claim land. Overextension at 91, lovely. Of course it is. Where's our other army at? We can use that to make money. We can use uh, this guy. Commonwealth Italy. I don't know if that's cursed. Austria. Actually, Austria's kind of big, and he's still the emperor. And so, if we, um... I don't know if it'll give me a, give me the emperorship if we PU Austria. But, if it... That is one of the reasons why I would like it. Sorry, poop man. I wonder how much we can take. <laughs> poop man. That'll be 26, 43, 75. Oh, that's a big coalition. <laughs> Not one I think I'll start. But I would like to unite our two sections of land. Oh. Nope. As soon as Franz is... Oh, we lost a battle. <sighs> Darn it. As soon as Franz becomes of age, we will be able to... get stuff. I'm gonna trigger the court and country thing. Because I've heard it's really good. Common <laughs> Commonwealth is the HRE. Commonwealth is the union of small nations under one ruler who is chosen every time. Commonwealth is more HRE than HRE itself. It's like the, um, what do you call it? That, uh, the HRE from CK2. Kinda. Ish. Also, if we take any land from this, from the Pope, then it will trigger a humongous coalition that I don't really know if I want to fight. But we might, so. Counter Reformation ends. Oof. As the kids say. I want to get these ideas filled out so I don't have to spend more mana on them. Did I get Defender of the Faith? Yes, I did. We lost it the last time. We lost it last time because we had uh, we lost a war to Aragon and Milan, which was pretty much all of Italy, or most of northern Italy. And they made us release Achaea, and we lost the uh, Defender during that, but we got it back. 
So we're gonna let court and country trigger. So we can get that sweet, sweet extra max absolutism. Yes, so I still have Defender of the Faith. In short. A revolt. Danish Separatists in Lund. Too bad we're already up there. Stack wiped. Stack woke. Is the past uh, army tradition and professionalism. So we're at the first level of professionalism and we're at 49 army tradition. You know, the good thing about professionalism is you can just use it as an extra manpower. So if we for some reason were to lose the entirety of these man, this manpower, then we can since we have 23, we can get another 200,000 men. If we can get Occupy Rome, we can cancel, have them annul treaties with Aragon, give us war, money, and war reps. There we go. That'll be great. Get us out of there so we don't get that nasty, nasty um, exiled. Still gives us a largish coalition, but I don't really care. Full professionalism, 80 army tradition. That's pretty great. Nice. Tales of your misdeeds are told from Ireland to Cathay. Separatist settle sense the meat. Come on. Give us your money. Overextension of 123. Yikes. Crimean separatists. Harsh treatment time. Big boy Ming. Still intact. Here's our Ming. You're still- you are not allied in- Or it would be wasteful to ally this Ming. Cause we get- oh! It's Portugal now. Portuguese, South China. I didn't realize they had that. You know what? Why don't we invade the knights? Moogles form naturally? That's pretty cool. We have this beast of a thing, Sistan. Took out all the Sunni, or the Shia, pretty much. Moogles form naturally. I kind of want to try a Mingles run, where you go from... Ming to the Mughals. Yeah, it's pretty whack. Sixty. We have sixty, um. Ooh, nice. When Yan Sobieski became king in 1674, he was already renowned uh, and glorious military leader. In fact, he started out as a general and ended up as a king. His reform of the Polish army thus started long before he ca became king, but it was under his royal leadership that the strong effects of the reforms made a lasting impression on history. The new Polish army saved Vienna from the onslaught of the Ottomans forever and stopped their advance. Unfortunately, in the long run, it helped Austria more than it helped Poland. Oof. But that's a great event. Pope for Moogles. I don't know how I feel about that. That's, like, kind of cursed, but, like, kind of cool. Like, that's maximum memory right there.
What are these guys doing? Oh. Do you care to help us out there? Yes, thank you, Saruhan. Saruman. Saruman, Saruhan. I kind of also want to try for Castile, but they don't have a... They don't have what we need. <coughs> Excuse me. If only we could get Gotland to not be from Gotland. Oh, we're not getting the court and country. Oof, that's a shame. Maybe it's because we have a stability at three. Third way, unify Islam and ending as an Avadi nation. Starting and ending as Yavadi. Mm, I, I don't know. Seems kind of difficult. Kind of fun. Oh, it's, I need the uh, DLC. The uh, pre-order pack that gives you the Purple Phoenix and the, uh, the Islam DLC. That's not Cradle of Civilization. I need that. It's only five bucks, so I think I might just go for it, but... I don't know, I'm not too keen on playing the non-Christian nations, but I think I might, I don't know, I think I might wait for Emperor to uh, drop so I can do an Austria run, or a Pope run, because I want to try that new stuff. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, ooh, Milan? Do you care to... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I like that! Why is Saruhan? Pope Emperor of HRE. I think you have to be a monarchy to do that, unfortunately. I totally would, though, if we could. So I think I'm going to go for Milan now. Flex on the Italians. Guaranteed by Papal State and Venice. And Ravensburg. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. Yeet in there. Eh, what the heck. Actually, we might lose that battle. Nope, never mind. Come on, my peasant rebels, or my peasant, uh. Peasant, uh. What do you call it? These things. Subjects, that's what they're called. Oh. I hope they don't ambush me while I transport my army with three transports. That'd be a disaster. Mm. Unfortunately, we're not doing too great in the Navy Department. So. Oh, Coalition. That's lovely. You know what? I think we might just stop this war after... We might just stop this war. Um, Visoki, where's Visoki? Visoki. Oh, okay, that was part of that thing. Had a war against Spain, bigger than me for a hundred dev. Got my army first battle, I stack wiped them. Ah, nice. That's pretty great. Love it when that happens. If only we didn't have coalitions, then I could just flex on everyone. 
Greek separatism. Fun. Look at that coalition. Oh, that's not a bad coalition. I'd form that. Okay. Rebel uprising. Harsh treatment. Absolutism to the max. Clap. You know what? I'm not going to answer this war. I'm just going to take some more land. Because what are they going to do, do about me? As long as it's not... As long as it's not Aragon. 30 cannons, 10 Cossack cavalry. Still don't have wings of Tassars. Oof. Currently, 12,000, 13,000 dollars in debt, ducats in debt. Oh, and our ruler decides not to live through this. As soon as little Franz is ours, or as soon as little Franz is of age, we will be personally uniting. Yes. And so we will be keeping keeping this thing from ever expanding. We'll be keeping um, Austria from expanding by, you know, being ours. I like, uh, you reset. Oh, that's not good. Yes, give me your money, Ravensburg. Yes, we can use some autonomy. Why can't we decrease any autonomy in our stuff? Uh, I want... I want that. Ooh, Novgorodian revolutionaries. They're already getting revolutionaries? What if we let them? You're off to sleep. Good luck. Thank you very much, Gibbon. Have a great day. Um, yeah. Peace. I, I kind of want to let Novgorod lose to the revolutionaries. Hungarian revolutionaries. Oh no. What is this, World War II? Cheers. Or give us war reps. They won't even give us that. That's lame. I kind of want to keep this war going just for the court and country thing. But I have to do some more research in order to figure out how to deal with it. Did they just walk their army into me?
うんうんうんギブアシオマニー Actually, I think we have to stay with these. Mm. Yes, love this. Maximum annexation. I kind of want to see what would happen. If we let Novgorod become revolutionary, c o r d i n Country Time. Out our absolutism, so we can just absolutely beat Empress Regulations. Oh, why are there so many separatists? Why can't you just be part of our glorious empire? We have almost 2,000 development. I mean, separatists.、Oh. Stay with me, please. Would you be willing to grant us your access? So we don't have to deal with. We can leave 20,000 in there in Sweden, but we don't need to deal with the, these people. Come on, friends, grow up faster. Sabotaged our diplomatic reputation. Of course you did, Muscovy. Decline. Decline. You got yo. What do you want to do with our land? You can walk around it. You can walk around it. Can't get hello. Oh, hello there, bug swarm. How's it going, man? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. I'm just、uh, fighting all these rebels. Yeah, so we just got on a humongous conquering spree, and、um, we're waiting for court and country to get done with. So, yeah, yeah. That's what's going on.、Um, fighting a whole bunch of rebels.、Um, yeah. So, you like EU4? Yes. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. I love EU4. It's one of my favorite games. One of my favorite games. Uh, it's pretty darn cool, in my opinion. You knew at it, trying to get better at it?、Uh, that's cool. How many, how many campaigns have you done? Do you know? Have you finished one yet? Because for me, I think I'm at a. I don't know. Let me think. So I've done a, three Castile ones, actually. Castile. One Portugal, like half of a Dutch run. I think one England.、Uh, probably half of a Germany one. So that's at like five or six. Muscovy, like half of that. Seven. 
Austria a whole, pretty much a whole run. You've started a lot, not finished one yet? That's alright, I do that a whole bunch. Probably only a quarter of the games I start are ones I actually finish. Um, my favorite one is Austria. And, um... Yeah, Austria is pretty fun to play as, because once you, um... Once you deal with the religious leagues and stuff, once you get the Protestants to not be Protestant, then you get a whole bunch of Imperial Authority, and once you click this button, Revoke the Privilegia, that means you get to take all of your, all of the members of the HRE and you make them your vassal, which is really fun. And then you just have a humongous vassal swarm. I kind of have the same thing, but instead of having a four, instead of having like 40 vassals, I'll have, I have like four big ones or three big ones. Yeah, so I have Novgorod's my vassal, um, Hungary's and Bohemia are my personal union, and, um, and Saruhan is my march. You never get hungry as Austria. Um, I don't do it on the first try. I don't get it. So, you know, in case you haven't heard of it, there's this technique. It's kind of frowned upon. It's kind of not. You know, it depends on how honest you're feeling. But if you, if you, um, alt tab out of your game and you right click on, um, on the icon and you click exit, it lets you, um, it it's basically crashes the game and so it lets you pick off on from your last auto save which kind of lets you beat up or it lets you beat um yeah save scumming it's called save scumming yeah and so i usually have to save scum a few times for my uh in order for me to get the uh, pu with hungary naturally without having to fighting to fight it oh you play hearts of iron oh that's cool i i i have a hard time getting into hearts of iron um I'm more focused on the, the macro things, like, it's really cool, really detailed, but it's just a little, in my opinion, it's a little harder to go from, like, so with EU4 you get, you know, 450 or, 450 or so years of history from 1444 to 1821, but with Hearts of Iron, you know, you get, like, 30, uh, but it goes by day, and, or it goes, like, hours and days instead of just, uh, just single days. So right now it looks like Aragon is getting beaten up by Burgundy, Austria, Aiken, Bavaria, Lorraine, Ansbach, Saxony, and Baden. It feels more railroaded. Hearts of Iron does. Um, for me it does. Yeah, because you know you always have you start out with the factions with the Germany and the um, the Soviets and then the Allies or England, but then France always joins the Allies pretty much. You know, I have you heard of Kaiserreich? Because I I've heard of that. I've never played it, but I think it's a really big mod. It does a whole bunch of weird things that you'd never naturally think of. Yeah, there's saves coming in Hearts of Iron too. So right now, um, I'm getting these ideas going out. getting my ideas to go out uh, so I don't have to buy them later and so um, if you didn't know you get these uh, once you fill out the ideas they're around 400 400 points a piece um, for each individual little thing so uh, for a uh, diplomatic you know these more diplomats you get one for 400 and then you, you go up to the next thing and so once you get all these filled out you get this bonus at the end and then you can f make policies, which are like big things. Oh, and it looks like we just hit the court and country. The court and country is a um, it's a disaster. Um, it's all right. It's like one of the disasters you want, which is quite good. It um, basically lets you get more absolutism, which lets you conquer stuff faster. I am the state. Yes, yeah, so we're at max absolutism, which is kind of weird. Oh, it's because we have the court and country thing going on. That's probably why. You're so bad at EU4, you can't win as the Ottomans. That's all right. 
you know, we all have to start from somewhere, you know. Um, you know, if you don't, if you're, you're having a hard time as the Ottomans, I probably, I, I started with Spain, with Castile. Castile's really easy. Um, it's probably around the same level as, um, as the Ottomans, but so all you have to do with Spain is there are these four provinces that you have to conquer at the start of the game. Well, you don't have to conquer them, but the four provinces, they're owned by Andalusia, which is the Muslim nation that still exists. Yeah, by Granada. Yeah, my bad. You, all you have to do is conquer those four provinces, and then it's smooth sailing for the rest of the game. You can just colonize, hang out, and ha have a whole bunch of money from trade, and it's it's pretty satisfying. I've played it several times. Same with Portugal. Portugal's pretty easy, too. You don't even have to deal with um, Andalusia. You can just break your alliance with England at the start, and then you'll be, you can just ally whoever, you can ally someone else. But you break your alliance with England at the start, because they're probably going to call you into a, a, a war with France. And then all you do is you just colonize, and it's, I like that. You make a whole bunch of money. You know, with um, the traders, like uh, England and Portugal and Spain, um, you really have to, you really don't have to worry about money once you start landing in Mexico because they have so much gold in the provinces. Um, you basically just have infinite money. Versus with Commonwealth, you know, I'm sitting over here with 13, almost 14,000 ducats in debt, which we've, we've held a steady debt of a lot for quite a while, but that's alright because if you have debt, you can just grow out of it. Are you interested in learning more about uh, EU4? Uh, that's what you're doing in quarantine? Well, that's cool. That's nice. Oh, and thanks for the follow, too. Um, didn't catch that just until now, but thanks for the follow. Um, so, yeah. So, do you, do you need all the DLCs? Or have you gotten any of them? Because the game's a lot different without the DLCs. You have them all? That's good, that's good. I, I do too. Or all of the big ones. Um, yeah, so that, that means you're gonna... You're gonna have a pretty easy time playing, at least in my opinion. You have all the DLCs. So, you know, if um, Castile doesn't sound like your type... Oh, also, when I say Spain, I mean Castile because they get... If you play as Castile, you get this event called the Iberian Union, which lets you get a PU over Aragon, a personal union over Aragon. So it basically gives you Aragon for free. And Aragon starts out with all of this stuff. And then in Italy, they start out with a personal union over Naples. But if they still have it, then um, you get the, the ruling. You get to rule over Naples, which is this over here. I took over them though, um, so that's why you don't see them. You always get rivaled as Aragon, or um, from Aragon, I guess. Yeah, that's that usually that's usually what happens. But if you just have a different gender of a king and queen, yeah, if you get a different gender from the king or queen, so like if. Uh, Aragon has a male king and you have a, a queen, then you get the event pretty much. This time you didn't? Have you tried it uh, again? Mm, actually, you know what is, is another really easy um, thing to do is play England. 
you're in it while you're watching my stream? Oh, nice, nice. If you try England, actually, I know uh, it's an exploit to uh, get out of the game's 100 years war mechanics. So if you go to, if you play as England, you start with all of this land. Uh, Maine, Alisson, Cayenne, Quarantine, Co, etc, etc. And um, what you do with that is it, you start out with all that land and just at the start of the game there's an event that fires called the Hundred Years War or specifically the Surrender of Maine and it basically starts a war between you and France and you, of course you can win the war if you feel like it but it's a lot more difficult and so what I do is I release Normandy as a vassal and if you release Normandy as a vassal and you give them all the provinces in the northern part of your European holdings, including Maine, then that war doesn't fire, so you basically get out scot-free, which is really nice. Yeah, you can annex them later on. Um, I'd probably wait till like the 1500s though, uh, because there's a the event there's like a certain timing for that. Yeah, you can annex them later on. Uh, I made them a march in my game, and um, making them a march makes them like a, a stronger vassal, or it gives them bonus to the military. But you have to you have to you have to make them not a march if you want to annex them. And it get, takes a stability point away from you if you make them not a march. Doesn't take it to make them a march, but it's you'll you'll figure it out. It, it, it'll say, you know, if you're taking them, revoking their status as a march, it'll say minus one stability. So I'm really glad you joined in. Um, I love talking about this game. It's uh, probably one of my. It is my most played game. I think. I think I have. Uh, at least, I think I have 500 hours in it. And, you know, if you go on the internet, you'll see a whole bunch of people that are... Let's say that that's just pretty much baby talk, or baby time. Um, you have 108 hours in? Um, that's okay. That's pretty cool. You know. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. 108. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know, at this point, I think I'm I'm going to invade Moscow from Muscovy. So uh, feel free to ask me like any question if you have one. You know, it's a daunting game. You know, you know you've played Hearts of Iron. It's a uh, quite quite a thing. Quite a, quite a deep game. Oh, uh, you playing Kiss Steel right now? You are? Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, what year is it for you? Do you want to give me a status update? So, you know, see if I can give you any like advice or something? Fourteen forty six, okay, so you just started. Okay, that's not too bad. 
So at that point, I'd probably just start saving up money for um, a war with Renata. Trying to make Navarra a vassal. Oh yeah. So, um, so what I do if you want to get Navarra as a vassal is you, um, from the start of the game, you improve relations with Navarra and um, give him maybe try to take a try to give him some gifts to um, increase his opinion of you, and then you can just um, uh, once it, it gets to the required 190. Of course, you get a. You got him? Okay, that's good, yeah. So once you get it to 190, you can just offer to vassalize them and they'll accept. Assume, I think they start accepting. You know, you can do that with England too, which is pretty sneaky. Because they start with a border with them. You know, in my game, uh, Great Britain hasn't formed, which is kind of weird. But uh, one of my favorite parts about this game is that you can form a whole bunch of nations. You see, I used to play um, a lot of Total War. Uh, that's what basically got me into like hardcore strategy gaming. And um, with Total War, once you you expand to a different like land, you know that's it. Once you court, once you like make it stop rebelling, it's basically yours. But here. Like, let's say if I start out as um, France and I conquer the rest of the Roman Empire, then I can form the Roman Empire, which uh, I think it's really good. And it, it's like a, you know, like a carrot on a stick, kind of like a, adds to the fun. Uh, what can you form as the Commonwealth slash Poland? Well, um, uh, normal things that you can form. So you start out, I started out in this game as Poland. Um, and so there's an event that gives you Lithuania for free. And um, so I, I formed the Commonwealth after Poland. Um, and now there's an advanced technique that you can do called culture shifting it's 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 pretty difficult um and you can culture shift into to prussian and form prussia um it's not my favorite i i prefer not being prussia um you know the next natural target assuming you conquer all of all of the rest of Ro of the roman empire then you can form rome even though commonwealth wasn't part of rome um what else? Um, you could culture shift into Russian uh, by taking a whole bunch of provinces that are Russian culture and change, um, not changing them, but you unstate the uh, your Polish provinces and state your Russian provinces. You shift over to Russian, and then you can form Russia. Um, yeah, I mean, those are the big ones. You know, countries that, like, uh, it's countries like Germany and, or not Germany, but countries like the German miners, like uh, Saxony or, or Brandenburg or, or Bavaria, they can form Germany. Um, that's a good one. You know, the Japanese nations can form uh, Japan, stuff like that. Um, Castile forms Spain, obviously, and... Um, you know, the Italian nations can form Italy. And uh, some of the nations you can reform after you you um, annex them. So, for example, if I if I were Provence, which were like, it's like a, the other blue country next to France. If I annexed the entirety of France and I took them out of the game, then I could reform France so I can get their ideas. And so the, the idea behind culture shifting is that you can get the um, traditions of another nation with a, an other features so like there's this strategy called the mingles you start out with china you start out as ming china and so ming is a humongous empire it's the biggest at the start of the game and so what you do is you conquer all your way over to india and you culture shift towards uh to like the one of the the indian cultures 
and you form the mi- uh, you, I think you- I think you also have to convert to Sunni Islam, but once you do that, you can form the Ming- the Mingles- the- the Mughal Empire, which makes you, um, it's got a lot of bonuses and stuff like that. Yeah, they have a large civil war thingy, that's what you do- that's kind of what happens if you do the, um, if you culture shift. Um, you know, in Ming- uh, I don't have a Discord, sorry. Uh, so that we don't have, um, commands or anything, I don't think. I haven't- this is just a basic stream. Not- nothing super fancy. So, um, Ming, if you Ming has kind of collapsed in this game. Um, if you take a look, you know, usually Ming's the entirety of China, but, you know, this is kind of a weird mess of nations. Should you offer Aragon an alliance? Uh, let me take a look at the, um, Iberian wedding thing. So, I would probably... Um... If, well, it depends on, uh, who are your allies right now? Because it, it doesn't, doesn't, um... You have royal married them, but not allied them yet? Okay. Uh, since you royal married them already, I'd probably just go with an alliance then. Because it takes up a relationship slot. Because you can only have a certain number of slots. Or you can only have a, like, a max number of slots before, uh... Oh, France and Portugal? Yeah, then you're good to go. You'll get the, um... Once you get a different gender union, or different gender, um, leaders, rulers, then you'll have the Iberian wedding. So you're in a good spot right now, you know. Um, you know, at that point, uh, as assuming you've taken Granada, if you haven't taken Granada already, then I'd go for that, assuming it hasn't, uh, Granada hasn't allied with like the Ottomans or something but if it if it hasn't then go ahead and I'd probably take it as soon as you can and then I just chill out and start colonizing you know your first idea should be um should be exploration as Spain I mean you can obviously go different routes and, and it's not like a super set in stone but they have an alliance with Tunis and Morocco um, actually, I'd probably wait until you can get both Portugal and Aragon, maybe, then. So that... Yeah. Should you do the Defender of the Faith? Mm. And you're just... I... Probably not yet. Pro because you'll get called into a whole bunch of wars between Catholics and non-Catholics. So, um, and I don't think it's a good idea to start, you know, fighting, fighting those guys at the start. Thanks for helping. Yeah, my pleasure. I, I like to, I love to talk about this game, so if you ever see me, uh, streaming, then, uh, Feel free to drop in, ask a few questions, I'd love that. Um, yeah. So I stream, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 to 5, um, Mountain, so that's 5 to 7 Eastern. So yeah, so if you ever see me on, feel free to hop in. Love to have you. Ah, thanks, thanks, thanks for, uh, thanks for- Thanks for finding me, but Bef before you go, uh, can I ask, how'd you find me? 737 Eastern? Oh yeah, I usually go over, don't worry. <laughs> oh, and I got the Wing to Sars achievement, nice. Uh, you like watching smaller streamers? Ah, oh, thanks man, I, I like it when people do that. Ah, uh, thanks so much. Uh, you know, it really makes my day when people jo join in. You wasn't, you weren't going to go yet. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, I think, I think I might, I might end soon, but, you know, I think I might wait for, um, I'm trying to personal union Austria. You're probably going to go when the stream's over? Okay, I'll probably be done within the next 15 or 20 minutes. I'm just waiting till the, um, Austrian, Austrian, um, emperors of age, so I can... So I can get that, uh, thing going. Once the Austrian Emperor's of age, I can try to personally union him, because I have the same dynasty. Feel free to give me updates. Uh, what should you do with your money? How much do you have? And what technology are you at yet right now? Um, 479 ducats, 334 tech. So, mm, so as soon, I'd probably keep it until you can buy, um, until you're at tech, what is it? I think it's tech five. It's either tech th four for administration, administrative. And then you can build churches in your, your towns. Uh, those are a hundred ducats a piece. Um, so I'd probably build some of those. And if you get to diplo diplo diplomatic tech four, then I'd go for, um, I'd build some factories. They're also, or not factories, um, the production things. They're also a hundred ducats a piece and they're, they're good for, uh, building stuff or not building stuff, building up your economy, especially in the beginning. You got the you go the zero zero you got the zero zero king ah that's a shame the you got Enrique poor chap he usually loves to be really really old but if you can uh, try to try to abdicate once you can with him How do you do that? Um, so, how do you? The way you do that is uh, so if you click on, if you press one, the key number one, and then you see Emperor. So for me, 
if you take a look at my stream, there's the Emperor August V von Habsburg. And so if you take a look next to your ruler's age, then you click on it, or there's a button that says, um, it's got a little crown under it right beneath the ruler's age. That says, um, that's the abdicate button. And so the ruler must be at least 60 years old or have ruled for 20 years in order to be able to abdicate. And so um, when you abdicate, it basically just puts you, gives you, it basically treats it like your king dies, basically. I think, I don't know if it gives you stability, the lose the st stability thing, but um, basically it gives you, or it puts you down to your heir. And you need to have an heir for that, by the way. You can't just, um, you can't. You can't do that without an heir. You know what at this point I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right here thanks so much for dropping in um yeah make sure to uh, come back next time and I'll see you guys later bye bug swarm and feel free to send me a message on twitch too if you need it if you need some like uh, extra help see you next stream guys